In my years of working as a comic book artist, I have realized that visuals play a very important role in our ability to learn and understand. We humans have this inborn skill to grasp new information quickly when it's represented through a visual imagery. Then this information that we hold in our subconscious mind becomes a very important factor that defines how we progress in our day-to-day -day lives. So let's dive into my world of visuals to explore this concept of what I would like to call VAL, that is Visual Art Learning. Hi friends, my name is Savio Mascarinus. I am a comic book artist and the group art director for Amar Chitra Katha and Tinkle. I dwell in a world of visuals where a picture would tell you a thousand tales. A major part of my life was and is spent reading comics and a significant part drawing them. It's like an alternate universe for me. Now, when I look back at the role and impact of visuals in my journey as an illustrator and a comic book artist, I find that it has taught me a lot more than I would have understood through words. So friends, let me explain what Val is all about with this little story. A long time ago, we do love to hear stories that start in this way, don't we? There lived a man with his family. There he is on your screen. Um, he will appear right now. Yes, there he is, finally. That's the hero of our story. And coming up now on his screen is his lovely family. So that's the family. So one fine morning, the hero of our story decided to go out hunting. He ventured deep in the wild where he was confronted by the huge mammoth-sized mammoth. And friends, what followed after that is not something that I can show the faint-hearted. So I just show you the SFX to describe the scene. A few hours later, the family was in for a huge surprise. What they saw was jaw-droppingly unbelievable. There he was, a hero, gallantly sitting atop that mammoth-sized mammoth. Well, now he had a lot of explaining to do. They wanted to know what had happened and so do we, right? Now the problem was, how could he have told them the story? There was no language in existence then. So he felt that the best way was to draw out his valiant feet. And a friend picked up a piece of charcoal. And in what he did next was this. Our friend managed to tell his story through a series of visuals that he had scribbled on the cave walls. And he was successful in telling his story as you can see. Look at the smiles on those faces. The family was thrilled to get a pet mammoth. That's the happy ending to our story. On a lighter note, maybe that was the very first attempt at sequential art storytelling. We would never know. But what we do know is that the sequential art of telling stories is a very popular medium of communication even today. What we now know as comics is also referred to as sequential art. Cave art, here is an example of a cave art telling a story through visuals. Over the centuries, visual storytelling has found its way into every civilization and culture. Visuals break that barrier of languages and transcends borders, thus playing a very important role in understanding the past as we know it today. Civilizations and mankind have developed because they used visuals to communicate even before the advent of language. It is evident in various civilizations. Here is an example of the very first use of visuals in writing. Coming now to the present times, we still use visuals as a means of communication. Simple examples being these street signs and symbols which are universal. Why is it so? Well, I can think of one reason and that's visuals stay ingrained in a memory longer. For example, we would know about the life cycle of the frog because we have seen the visuals and learned about it in theory. We preserve these visuals in a subconscious mind. And to make my point more clear, I would like to show you a few examples of visual incidents 
you may have heard of or seen sometime in your life and I'm sure you will be able to identify them. Here they are. This is a scene of a battlefield. Maybe you can identify the valiant king here. Yes, that's Maharana Pratap, the Rajput king. Or this instance in history. The image you see tells you the story of that unfortunate incident. You may have definitely heard about it. Yes, this is the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. I will now show you a couple of visuals. You may remember, these are those very popular characters from Tinkle comic, Supandi and Shambhu. Why do we remember them? That's because they are icons in their own way and their images and adventures were probably a part of our childhood. That's the impact of visuals on our mind. Now let me take you one step into understanding visual art learning. Here is a question for you to ponder upon. As it's very well known that an idea can give birth to another idea, so can an image do the same? How many of us pay attention to the images that we see around us? While learning and understanding them, do we translate them into newer ideas or newer visuals? The wheel theory is the best example of an idea and image giving birth to another. And here I have a fun experiment. A little exercise for the little grey cells monami as Agatha Christie's favourite detective Hercule Poirot would have so aptly said. This is simply called doodling. We all have done this in our childhood on the back pages of our notebooks. I have filled my books, my friends books and sometimes also my examination paper. But before we start speaking about doodling, let me ask you to visualize something. Can you picture a scenery in your mind? So when I say that, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Take a few seconds and do it. Now, let me show what most of you would have thought of on this slide that you see, two hills and the sun, right? Why is that so? That's the way we have all been programmed to think visually. We all just presumed that two hills and the sun make a scenery. We never look beyond that image to what it is and never imagined beyond what it could be. We have done it and so do the kids today. We need to change this thinking pattern, break that mold as they say and start thinking and questioning everything we see. So let's look at visual art learning in practice and for that we doodle. Do you remember this very first visual you saw? Yes, the circle and the dot, right? So you know what it is, the eye, most of you will agree again, right? Now we start questioning it, doodling around it and building images around it to challenge your imagination. Can you see what's forming now? Push your imagination a bit more, exercise your brain and think in a different way. And voila, this is also what it could be. Doodling is a perfect exercise for your brain to trigger new ideas, make it think harder and differently in the formulation of your ideas and your thoughts. And that is the power of doodles. That is the power of visuals on the human mind. Try this out whenever you feel the need to relax. These visuals have a magical impact on your mind. It will refresh you and help you to calm down. You will be fascinated by what you create. I sometimes hear children say, History is a boring subject or adults say, I cannot understand mutual funds. So how can we make learning history interesting? We add visuals to it. What better way to tell a seventh grader the story of Emperor Ashoka, which is a part of his syllabus than showing him a comic book based on the life of Emperor Ashoka. And there you have made an impact by adding visuals to learning. You can do the same to explain mutual funds. Use visuals, put them in a comic book format. Henry Ibsen, the famous playwright, was the first to coin the phrase, a thousand words would not leave the same 
deep impression as does a single deed. Well, the word deed was later replaced with the word picture. Let us start looking at images in a new way. Learn to question them, nurture them and develop them. And that is where the learning will happen. So friends, let's make this age-old medium of learning through visuals an integral part of life and education. Use it in every aspect of your life, be it education or your career. Visual art learning is a simple and effective tool available right there. So the next time when you see your dot and circle, don't assume that it's just an eye and two hills and the sun do not make a scenery. Look at that image beyond what it is and imagine beyond what it could be.